everyone, this is Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to do another October daily video. And this is going to be kind of my first, well, not kind of, it is my first story in October daily. I came home from the pumpkin patch with my family and I had this really cool idea to make my own Hocus Pocus book. And I wanted to see if it could come out. And I cut a snake and then two folded snakes and I cut an eye on my cameo. And then I took a piece of basil cardstock and you saw I just crumpled it up and then added some ink. I had a stitch stamp from Everyday Explorer and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that to make the lines on the book and I'm able to twist the stamp really well to get the kind of curves that are from the book now if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm talking about the book from Hocus Pocus Hocus Pocus 2 came out I think what at the end of September I don't know but it's our first story and we all watched it and loved it so I figured you know what I'm gonna start my album with that and it would be really fun to do something kind of interactive and just have fun that's the really special part with October daily and December daily it really lends itself to just playing and having fun and doing interactive things with your album that you may not normally do so I took this stitch stamp and I'm looking at a picture of the book as I'm going and trying to get the lines the way that I think that they will work I kind of goofed towards the bottom because I made too many curved lines but it doesn't really matter I'm still having a lot of fun then I took some like metallic ink from Allie Edwards and two pieces of scratch paper and put it um stamped over the black lines that way it gave it that metallic kind of finish that the book has and I stamped it repeatedly and very messy and just kept going until I got to the bottom of the page I'll also add some uh, mini staples from my tiny attacher to give some more dimension and just add some more of that metal that the book has and so I'm just going down down my line that I have created here and then I'm gonna add in my eye and also the snake and I know the snake on the book is actually I think brown not brown silver but I'm gonna make a green snake now I stamped that that circle that I had cut out with some brown circles to give it some pattern and I'm gonna fix that eye in a little bit because I didn't like it. I'm also adding some pattern to the snake and inking it gray, um, yeah, gray. So that way it looks more like the book. So once I have that all inked, I am working on these snakes. They were snakes that I found Googling and they were folded up snakes similar to the actual book but they look kind of weird I don't know what they look like but they don't look like folded up snakes but once I get them attached to the book they'll look much much better so I stamp them with a random pattern um, using everyday explorer stamps and I also add in some curved uh, lines from that stitch stamp and I actually made one of the snakes look like it has bunny ears if you look really close. So, I mean, I could always fix that. But I'm still having fun, you guys. I'm just going with this. I don't really have, like, a total plan. The plan is just have fun and make a book. And that is what I'm aiming for here. And I crumpled up the snakes and I'm going to put them in the corner. Now, I realized as at the end of putting this together that my adhesive was not working. So I'm going to have to go back through and do double-sided um, adhesive to make sure everything sticks. Now, I used my Cameo to cut out this brown uh, circle for the outside of the eye, but I didn't like it, so I went ahead and just cut my own with gray paper. And it's supposed to be wonky and not correct, or not, I don't know if correct is the wrong, is the right word, but it's supposed to be not perfect. And I really like the circle I cut out, so I'm adding some more of those tiny circles to add some pattern and that way it's not so plain and then I will add it to the uh the book I'm also going to staple it in place that way I know it's going to not move and I just love the idea of adding staples to the outside of the eye I really wanted the uh 
almost the spine of the book to be gray. So I went ahead and used a blending brush and now I'm just kind of wrestling the snake onto this piece so that way it will stay. I'm not quite realizing that the adhesive is just not working and I probably should have just used double-sided tape. I even get out my glue pen and that's not working, but I do get it to stay eventually um, long enough for me to cut the edges that are hanging off and then I can place it onto the book for the edge and so I really love how that snake turned out and I'm glad I did a little pop of green. So once I have that on I can go ahead and work on my eye and I will add in those tiny attacher uh, labels. And I will say on a random side note just to share that you know having my kids play together they were playing a Pokemon game the entire time I was working on this is just so awesome. So I had this wonderful idea that I wanted to create like right away and it all just worked out because my kids actually played with each other and it was the best. I love when that happens. You have an idea and you get to go right to your desk and like create it and all your people are cooperating. <laughs> it's the best. So they were playing I think for 45 minutes while I created this and I just I was so thankful because I got to play in my space and make this really cool uh, introduction story and the first story for my October daily. So I just put down those snakes in the corner and they look so good. I asked my son, what can I do to make this look more like the book? And he said to add some more brown. So I'm getting my blending brush and adding in some of the brown. And I think he was right. It definitely needed a little bit more brown. And it really helps because I crumpled everything so it gets the ink gets in the creases. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the inside. And I had this really fun idea to take have a, all of us take a quiz on which Sanderson sisters we were. And I had a cut file from Ashley Horton, the cut shop, and it had the hair pieces. And so I put the hair pieces on our heads. It is the best and it is hilarious. So my husband got Mary, I got Sarah, and both our kids got Winifred and it's just the best. I love it. It's hysterical. So I am going to use that to uh, write kind of our reviews of what we thought about the movie. And I'm using double-sided tape to get the white papers to stick down. So the left-hand side is going to be our reviews. And the right-hand side is going to have a movie poster, the movie poster, and then a little cluster of embellishments. I also have this fun banner from the Allie Edwards kit that says it's all just a bunch of hocus pocus. And I will pull out some in a creative bubble die cuts and the ones from Erica. So I've got my double sided tape and I think I've mentioned this before but I discovered through another scrapbooker uh, that you can use the eyelet setter and the pokey part and that will really help you peel off the double sided tape because I am not able to do it like my fingers just can't but I'm able to do it a lot quicker with this uh, little trick. And definitely the double-sided adhesive was the perfect way to get this to all stick. And as you can see, I kind of folded up the edges of the book when I was making it. So it has almost like a real spine, which is really fun. So I added, or you can see that I put the movie poster and now I'm going to work on the other side of adding the double-sided tape and making sure I put lots of it because I do not want it to fall apart. I'd be so sad. Um... And once I have that all put together, I'm going to go ahead and figure out where I want our faces to go. And then I'm also thinking that I want to look in my stash for some sort of label stamp or something like some sort of box stamp. That way I can box in our responses. I did have this tombstone uh, die cut, but that's not going to make it. I just didn't like it. So I'm placing down our different... Uh, <laughs> our different heads and head pieces and uh, figuring out where I want to put it and how I want to put it. I decide on a Allie Edwards Stories by the Month doodle frame stamp and that will work perfect. I'm going to do uh, vertical stamping for the guys and horizontal for us girls. And then um yeah, it's so cute. I just, I love it. I love it. Um, so yeah, I just basically erased the cut file that I didn't need. And I just took the, uh, the movie poster and I kind of 
used my eyedropper tool to figure out the colors so that way I could change them in Photoshop Elements. And then I also drew a shape kind of inside the hair that way I could clip in uh, photos of us. And I actually use photos from the pumpkin patch because I got great photos of all of us. And then I just tucked that kind of head shape underneath and it worked out perfectly. I just, I can't get enough of this. So I think you guys should try this. It is so fun. Put your family in photos of as the Sanderson sisters. It's hysterical. I have all of my little stamped boxes and I'm putting down my daughter's little uh, Winifred wig and now I'm going to put down my son's and tuck in his little head and I can start to write in our different uh, reviews. Now, mind you, my review and my daughter's review were the best and most thought out, <laughs> if I do say so myself. The guys were not so into uh, giving reviews, but taking the test, they were all they were all into it. They were good sports about taking the uh, little quiz, and all I did was Google, uh, like, test which Sanderson sister are you. So in orange marker I put our names and then in black thick marker I put test result. So I put test result uh, Mary Sanderson for my husband and then test result Sarah Sanderson for me and the kids were both Winifred Sanderson which was hilarious. And then I'll write in our reviews. Now, my daughter said she loved Billy and his creepy mouth, and she also really liked when the Sanderson sisters ate the face mask. She thought that was awesome. My son said he just really liked Mike the jock and how he said, I have so many people to apologize to. I said I enjoyed the Sanderson sisters' big song and number and how they hypnotized the townspeople. My husband said it's just just the teenage witches and how they put the Sanderson sisters back where they belong. So that's what he said. And there you go. I'm going to put it back in the album and I have it all done. And I hope you have enjoyed seeing me create this book and all our little funny faces with the hair. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'd love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.